I think that's the easiest way to say what, what is producing, it's making things happen for the director, for the writers, for the cast, for everyone. I worked for quite a few years as a camera assistant and occasionally shooting, which I loved. And that, that, that was what actually drew me into wanting to do film and television. I wanted to produce because I wanted to be involved in not just the shoot. I wanted to be involved in the development and working with writers and then working with directors, really overseeing the whole thing. I didn't want to be in one part of the process and not the other. And I wouldn't really do producing if that wasn't a part of my job. Filmmaking and television making is about relationships. It's about people coming together to create something. And having all of those relationships earlier on, I think, does, it grows you and, and you grow with them and they grow with you. Part of the joy of producing has been actually working with new talent or so-called new talent, because sometimes they're not. They've done lots of things before, but it might be a debut feature or, or a debut series. I want you to come back and carry me home. Animal Kingdom opened doors for everyone who worked on it and who was in it. For me personally, it just opened lots of doors and meant that I could have a seat at the table. It's definitely enhanced my career, without a doubt. And you've done some bad things, sweetie. A lot of the work I've done has been on location over the years. I really enjoy shooting on location. And maybe it's just a coincidence, a lot of the directors I've worked with, from David to Garth Davis to Kate, who, you know, we shot in Germany, um, on Laura, to Justin Cazell. It, it has been about the ability of telling a story with a certain visceral feel, which often comes from that location. Making The King was, with Netflix was pretty fantastic, actually. We had really great support from Netflix to do the film in a financially viable way, so a responsible way, but at the same time with a certain amount of creative freedom, which was fantastic. And much more probably freedom than you would have in the old studio system. And, you know, they, they were really supportive. They made comments and they made, they, there was criticisms and there was budget talks, but I'm really proud of that film. I think we pulled off something that looks and, and feels very, very sort of weighty in terms of the budget spend, but at the same time really appropriate to the story. I'm here because you are my friend. <laughs> A king has no friends. I'd just say in the last two years, the cinema audience has so changed in this country and I don't think you can make a production these days that is purely one platform orientated because people are watching things all over the place on so many different devices and I strongly believe that Kelly had the best release that it could in terms of gaining an audience, a younger audience with Stan and a bigger audience with Stan than it would have in the cinemas. I don't think I'll be making a film like Kelly in that way again, ever. <laughs> I think it will change. I think the next feature we do will be quite different in terms of the financial structures behind it. You're never to abandon your kin again. Promise me. As a producer, adaptability is absolutely key. Having a mixed slate is really vital to being able to be a producer in an ongoing way. I think that you have to be open to opportunities where they, where they arise and increasingly television is, is absolutely fundamental to your slate. I'm a little platform agnostic, I would say, <laughs> and I'm just trying to make content but trying to access the audience still which is appropriate for that content. You've got the job. <laughs>